welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. Consider subscribing if you are into beauty videos. We are back down to one video a week as I am dealing with some personal stuff and we may or may not get to that later. We'll see. Anyway, today I thought I would walk you guys through how I did this face of makeup. We're doing a little bit of a voiceover tutorial today. So if that appeals to you, stick around, hit that like button, you are in the right place. Let's get to it. I am applying a little bit of concealer on my innermost corners before going in with some eye primer. I'm using my favorite sponge to blend that out. For my eye base today, I am using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Today we are using the ColourPop Sweet Talk Palette, which I love. This shade is called ICYMI, which that stands for in case you missed it. The second shade we're going to go in with is called Meadow, but not until after I drag this a little bit onto the lower lash line. Applying Meadow now, that is that lighter orange shade that I'm using to blend into the outer corner. In this demonstration, I'm actually doing the opposite technique to what a lot of people teach and starting with very precise application of those dark shades and moving slowly to the lighter shades in the palette. West Side, which is the warm brown in this palette. Back into ICYMI to intensify that outer corner before applying some shimmer. I am picking up Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Brulee on a loose fluffy brush to blend out that transition. Before picking up Melody, which is a golden peach shimmer, I used this S30 brush to finalize the edges before blending out where it meets that matte shade with my Sigma E25. I went over that crease just to ensure there's no shimmer up there. Next, moving into brows. I've been really enjoying this brow pen from Ardell. This is just my first layer to kind of get a map down of where I would like the brow to be. I like to use this on any areas that aren't getting quite enough pigment from that pen. And since I am a little bit hormonally broken out, I'm taking some Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. Placing that not only under my eyes, but on some areas of redness as well. I'm going to lightly tap those things in place, those things, that concealer in place, to the coverage that I desire. I have been applying my concealer under my foundation lately. I just find that there's a less distinct delineation between the two areas when I do that. I'm going in with my favorite Stay Perfect foundation. This is a newer shade. This is the shade Calico. I find it to be more neutral than warm ivory, and I have mixed it with a tiny bit of a NYX white mixer, as I am completely without self-tan for this video. Setting my under eyes with a little bit of Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder before moving on to some more cream products on the rest of the face. I do set a tiny bit on my forehead and center of my face, think nose and center of my cheeks. I love this product. I have been using it consistently since August and have barely made a dent in this giant, giant stick. I also like to use it as just kind of a light contour for the rest of my face. I like to add some depth around my jawline as well as around my nose. L'Oreal Infallible Sculpting Stick Brush. Blush? Excuse me. The Anastasia Liquid Glow in the shade Perla. This I picked up in the 21 Days of Beauty sale from Ulta. I believe it was 40% off. And it does apply better with a sponge, as you can see here. I wanted to test it out both ways so that you guys could see. I'm now picking up this Kiko Milano, I believe it's called a Water Shadow, in the shade 200 on my inner corners before blowing out the lower lash line. I 
I'm lining and filling in my lips with this color before reaching for color pop. I call it jelly gloss. It's, they're so juicy gloss in the shade Let It Happen. This is our finished look and it is a mixture of affordable and non-affordable products. So, well, drugstore and non-drugstore products, I should say. Affordable is in the eyes of the holder. I really enjoyed this look. I wanted to do something fairly simple and bronzy. Of course, it became more complex the more I added. That's just how things go. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like down below. Leave a comment if there's something you would enjoy to see from me. I would love to hear from you. And I hope you are having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. Keep dreaming, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.